So the Ace family lies are really starting to add up, and there are so many different people pulling up receipts and calling them out. Our friend Mad Catster actually put together an entire list of a timeline of what the Ace family have gone through with their home. And honestly, I do feel bad for their family because they did go through a foreclosure and that's never fun. But I don't feel bad for all the lies that they've been telling. And honestly, even though they've moved on to a new home and they're living their best life, they continue to lie to their fans. Let's start off by talking about their house tour, which a lot of you guys wanted me to react to it. I'm thinking I'll start doing some more reaction videos on my second channel since I'm going to be living all alone and bored. Whatever. We don't need to get into it. Anyways, look at the photo in their thumbnail because you will see that's a beautiful house in that thumbnail. I mean, is that the new Ace Family home? You would think so, because if someone's going to put something in their thumbnail, especially their new home, and they're giving a tour of it, you would expect the photo for the video to have a photo of the home, right? Well, it actually turns out that they used a photo of a mega mansion in Beverly Hills, which is not their home, as the click, oh my god, there's the photo right there, like literally down, right, like the second row to the left, that's the photo they used for their thumbnail, when it's not even their home, which if I lived in this home, I would be so creeped out. This isn't the Ace family's rental home, at least I don't think it is, but it looks just like it. And this looks just like a home. I was actually staying in West Hollywood like like two weeks ago, and I swear to God, like I saw this house. There are so many different houses just like this, but their home looks just like this one. I mean, even down to the kitchen. And again, it's not the same one, but whatever they're living in right now is definitely a rental. There aren't any new properties under Austin or Catherine's name or their business name, and there haven't been any homes sold in the past six months that would fit this home or in their budget. So what is going on here? Well, there are a few really great YouTubers out there who are doing amazing research. I have to give a shout out to Be The Commentator and of course our girl Fleur. I'm going to list both of them below. Hopefully I'm saying that right, Fleur, Fleur. Okay, anyways, but they have been doing really great research and we need to talk about it. And I love to see you guys go and subscribe to these channels because they're doing such great research and they deserve it. Be The Commentator posted a video where she did a lot of investigative work. Pretty much she called these different departments and asked them about the Ace Family gas leak. Just to give you guys a refresher, here's a clip of Catherine talking about this gas leak situation in her home that didn't have gas, which keep in mind, we brought up pictures of the home with the whole like you know stove on and everything so we know that the, at one point the home did have gas or at least the stove did so why continue this lie honestly guys gas leaks are no joke and when i hear this i'm like oh oh my gosh like that's extremely scary i mean my house like burnt down in 2013 i believe it was like my family home and like i understand how i know how significant gas leaks could be in fires and all that so here's Catherine explaining the rest of her story of course, a lot of people watched this video. It was a huge video for the Ace family, and they had some questions, and some things just aren't adding up. That YouTuber, Be The Commentator, actually asked a bunch of these questions to these departments, like, were there ever any gas leaks reported? Um, would the city be taking care of this? Because like you guys heard, Catherine said the city was taking care of it all, which isn't the truth. Also, keep in mind that the home that they were living in didn't have a certificate certificate of occupancy. So there shouldn't have ever been a gas like meter on the property. How can you have a gas leak if you don't even have gas going to the property? So be the commentator asked every department about this and they told her like, no, no, yes, no. And you know, it doesn't align with the Ace family story. Catherine insisted throughout their video that the city was the one who took care of the gas problem. And again, I don't understand why Catherine was the storyteller in this situation. Comment below what you guys think about that one. But it looks like the company that handles all the gas in their area or who would be responsible for taking care of a gas leak would be SoCal Gas, which isn't the city. This is a private company. So you guys are probably wondering, hold up Sloan, I mean, how do we even even get past the fact that they said they never had gas at the home and now they're having a gas leak because those are two like they don't 
that doesn't add up. You can't have no gas at the home and then have a gas leak. Well, Catherine did go on to clarify in another video about what she actually meant with this story and listen to the BS she's spewing. So now she's claiming there was a gas leak, but it was somewhere on their property down the hill. Down the hill, but still on the property, not near the house, but I guess enough where it could get into the house. What the hell? Like, what explanation is this? Because if you think about how gas is just established in a neighborhood, and I know every person doesn't know this, but it goes by property by home. So it's not like you're going to have like a, you know how a fire hydrant is just at the end of the block and nobody really owns the fire hydrant. Well, it's not like you just have a gas meter or some gas like device or system out there that's not being managed or not, you know, doesn't belong to a home. So again, this just doesn't add up. And I have to say, I'm so impressed with Be The Commentator because they went the extra mile to go and pull an environmental impact report, which is something that a lot of communities do um, and it shows where there have been incidents that could impact the environment. So if there was a gas leak, it would show up on this report. There would be some evidence of it. It would show the impact of that and where it happened. But again, there's no record of this happening. So what is Catherine taught? Like what? Where is this story coming from? Like, is it an actual lie or is it like a white lie on top of like another like a story that did happen, but they're exaggerating it? Like I'm actually concerned. And actually. Actually, be the commentator recorded a phone call with one of these departments and asked all the questions we've been wondering. So go ahead and listen to what they had to say. It's Lynn Hills. Um, I do see that so this property and meter has or was never set. Um, so this property does not have gas service or a meter installed. Um, I do see that there was a submitted application to start service, but it was never completed and ended up being canceled. There was any orders or information regarding this property, okay. and they weren't able to find any. All that was is that the application requested for service, which um, did expire because it was never completed or scheduled, mm -hmm. and that there's no meter installed, so that's why the service was never established. So according to SoCal, it sounds like there was a request at one point to get gas on the property, but like, you know, there wasn't a uh, capacity, you know, occupancy, whatever certificate and all of that figured out. So it never actually happened. And I guess the order was canceled. So there wasn't ever gas established to the home, which makes me wonder, like, how did the oven work in that one video? Like, I have so many questions. Okay. And there's no record of any gas leaks being in that neighborhood on that down the street, off their hill, or anything, correct? So for that, unfortunately, we wouldn't have record of that. It, it would be linked to a home specifically, not for, like, a neighborhood in general. Got it, okay. And for this home, I don't have any information. Okay. So, like I was explaining to you guys earlier, it's not like the fire hydrant is going to be spewing gas. So, if this did actually happen to Catherine, we could assume that, like, I, I guess, like, a neighbor who lived down the hill had a gas leak, and it came all the way up into the air, into their home and infected their like it just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't add up and i don't i don't quite understand why they would lie about this it's again like why would you put a thumbnail like a picture of another house in your thumbnail for your house tour it's just like i just cannot understand what these people are thinking it does look like the ace family just posted a video and it's a prank video and i have to say guys like i don't know if like I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean, but like this was one of the worst ones because once upon a time I was an Ace Family fan and I watched some of their pranks and it was like whatever. I watched everyone and like I I I could barely watch this one because it just seems so staged and like Catherine obviously wasn't being pranked and it just like read the title. I got pulled over by the police. I need you to act pregnant. So he's pretending he got pulled over. And for whatever reason, he's got to, you know, his wife has to act like she's pregnant and just, you know, about to give birth. And he's rushing home to go and get her, which again, like Catherine is, you know, conveniently there with like a, a big pregnant stomach and <laughs> her water broken and all that. And I mean, maybe they're getting back to their like goofy content, but like this clickbait stuff just isn't it. I know this was a short video, guys, and I'm not trying to cut it short, but I do want to mention one last thing. It does look like Landon is staying at the East family home and also their like videographer, Joe. So it looks like they're all living in this like Airbnb situation and maybe that's how they're affording it. They're all like splitting the costs, which honestly, that might be the smartest thing they've done. Like, you know, go and split the cost, make some money on YouTube and, you know, pay your bills because uh can you imagine them getting kicked out of this rental but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have anything else you want me to talk about here's my email 
And, you know, life has been going on, and I don't even want to talk about it yet, but we're going to be talking about it sometime on my channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this P.O. Box package item from Augie. Um, I, I don't know exactly what it is. It feels like it could be like a book or something, but let's go ahead and see what is going on here. Okay. 